Hey, Absolites. So, okay, yeah, we all know what I said last time. I've never played a Sinnoh game. Yada, yada, yada. But here's the thing. I can't. The only DS emulator that I can even get to run is Desmoomy, which is the one that I was using, but it has a weird quirk to it. I can't pause. Pausing is kind of necessary for, you know, changing up my team, teaching my team TMs and HMs, etc. So instead, I'm going to use an emulator that I know works, and I'm going to play through Pokemon Crystal, since I've never played through a Gen 2 game either. So, let's -a go! Okay, thanks for the explanation past me, for what... Okay, thanks for the explanation for this difference past me. And, okay, also, if I'm talking pretty fast, and the reason I don't have sound on right now is because I'm gonna be speeding up the game, because I actually did all of this before, but I forgot to record it. So, we're redoing it. Alright, uh, let's go. <sighs> okay, so now we're at the point where well, we are choosing our starter, and I'm gonna pick Cyndaquil. I think, I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Yes, I received Cyndaquil. Great. Yes, I'm gonna give it a nickname. I'm going to name it, uh... Okay. We've got our Cyndaquil named Cindy. This is gonna be a great encounter. Okay, so we're uh, now at Mr. Pokemon's house. This is what I want uh, Professor Elm to examine. I'm sorry, received the mystery egg. I know a couple. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg, uh, so I was intrigued. So I sent mail to Professor Elm for Pokemon evolution. Uh, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Absol. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand and for. Uh, Professor Elm. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like uh, Professor Elm and I, uh, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would uh, treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, oh, you seem dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Absol received the Pokedex. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. Hello, uh, Absol. Uh, um, something. It's uh, it's just uh, it's just terrible. W what should I do? Oh, uh, oh uh, no! Pl please get back here now. Will do. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are now at the rival battle. You got a Pokemon at the lab. Uh, what a waste a wimp like you. Don't uh, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. I think I'm gonna give this guy my broken earth voice. You sent out Totodile. Okay. Go, Cindy! Tackle! You use Leer. I use Tackle. You use Scratch. I use Tackle. Okay, Cindy recovered using a berry. Tackle! This tackle will finish you off. Nope. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care, frankly. Cindy fainted. Hmph. 
That was a waste of time. Um, my name's Question Mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay. I have a really deep, kind of commanding voice. Okay, we're back here, and this is actually the point that I didn't get to last time. Hey, Officer Jenny. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yes. Okay, so I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but on the first playthrough, and quite often after that as well, I usually name my rivals their canon names. So, yeah, his name was Silver. Thanks for helping my investigation. Give her a man... whatever. Absol, this is terrible. Oh, yes, what was po Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Absol handed the mystery egg, Professor Elm. Huh? This? But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Absol, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people uh, as trainers. Whoa. Wow, Absol, you have what it takes to become the, the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The, clo the closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Absol, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Youngster Joey? Ha! <laughs> I ran into Youngster Joey! With his R Rattata in the top percentage of Rattatas! Youngster Joey was defeated! Ack! I lost again! Doggone it! Doggone it? Joey! Who says that? You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay. So... We are now in Violet City, but I don't want to challenge the gym just yet. I actually don't know if you can. I know there is the Sprout Tower, but I don't know if it's mandatory or not. However, yeah, I want to catch a Geodude first. A Zubat. I mean, it's not ideal, but I... D uh, it's not what I was going for, but, I mean, I do want to use uh, Crobat on my team, so. Now, let's pack... Pokeball! Go! Go! Pokeball! Hmm. Two. Three. Gotcha! Zubat was caught. Okay. During the day, it gathers with others and hangs in, in old buildings and caves. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. Give a nickname to Zubat? Yes. Uh, I'm going to name him Robin. Because I'm uncreative and I... Uh, and every single Zubat I've ever caught has been named Robin, Bruce, or Batman. So I'm going to go with Robin after Batman's sidekick. So now we're looking for Geodude. There we go. Geodude. That was fast. So, uh, it's gonna be resisted. And, wow, that did not do much. Uh, it's level four. I'm gonna see if I can just catch it with a Pokeball right there. One, two, ugh, almost had it. <sighs> but a few, uh, but a few more tackles should do it. Also, I'm not sure if I'll put music in the background uh, of this video or not. But if I didn't, I. If you'll notice, I just turned off music. That's because I switched to speeding. I switched back to speeding up the game. I also used a Pokeball. Ah, so close. Yeah, Geodude was caught. Now I'm gonna turn the music back on. 
executed, Zeta was newly added to the Pokedex. Proud of their sturdy bodies, they b bash uh, against each other in a contest to prove who is harder. <laughs> give a nick give a nickname to Geodude? Yes. Actually, I have no idea what I want to name Geodude, so let so I'm not gonna give it a nickname. You might wonder why I'm using that. Uh, why I'm using it, even though it's a trade evolution and I'm on an emulator? Well, that's because I'm using the Universal Pokemon Randomizer to make trade evolutions level up instead. So, at level 37, uh, it'll become a golem. To perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes! Yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, my Pokemon are fully healed, and okay, so I've caught three new team members, I've done plenty of intro stuff, I think that is a good place to wrap up the episode. So, thank you all so much for watching all the way to the end, Absolites. This has been fun, but Absol and the Lumians, well specifically Absol, are signing off! Peace out!